Hi, and welcome to the NordicTrack EXP Treadmill Series Assembly video. Follow these steps for the EXP 14i, EXP 10i, and EXP 7i models. Step 1 Assembly Tips Assembly requires two people. Place all parts in a cleared area and remove the packing materials. Left parts are marked L or left, and right parts are marked R or right. The required tools are hex keys included with the parts, a Phillips screwdriver, and one adjustable wrench. After shipping, there may be an oily substance on the exterior of the treadmill. This is normal. Wipe it off with a soft cloth and non-abrasive cleaner. Do not use power tools and keep the treadmill power cord unplugged during assembly. Step 2. Connect the right upright wires to the base. Make sure the power cord is unplugged. Lay the right upright near the upright base. Identify the belly pan wire and the upright wire. Make sure the latch on one connector is on the same side as the catch on the other connector. Slide the connectors together. They should snap together with an audible click. Then remove the tie. Insert the wires into the indicated square hole and press the grommet into the hole. Remove and discard the screw next to the square hole. Attach the ground wire to the right upright with the included grounded screw. Step 3. Attach the right and left uprights to the base. Have a second person hold the right upright against the upright base. Do not pinch the belly pan wire. Insert two 3 8 inch by 2 and a quarter inch screws with two 3 8 inch star washers into the top of the bracket on the right upright base and partially tighten the screws. Finish attaching the right upright with two 3 8 inch by 1 and a quarter inch screws and two 3 8 inch star washers. Do not fully tighten the screws yet. Follow the same steps for the left upright. The left does not have a wire. Slide the left base cover onto the left upright. Then slide the right base cover onto the right upright. Step four, attach the handrail to the right and left uprights. For the next step, be careful not to pinch any wires. Have a second person hold the handrail assembly on the left and right uprights. Attach the handrail assembly with four 3 8 inch by two and a quarter inch screws and four 3 8 inch star washers. Star all four screws, then tighten them. Step five, connect the handrail wire to the right upright wire. Make sure the latch on one connector is on the same side as the catch on the other connector. Slide the connectors together. They should snap together with an audible click. Insert the wires into the right upright. Step 6. Attach the left and right handrail covers. Insert the front edge of the left handrail cover into the top of the left handrail. Press down on the top of the left handrail cover until it snaps into place. Repeat the same steps to attach the right handrail cover. Step 7. Attach the console. For the next step, be careful not to pinch any wires. Attach the console to the handrail with 4 quarter inch by 1 inch screws and 4 quarter inch star washers. Start all screws and then tighten them. Connect the handrail wire and the primary console wire to the matching console wires. They should snap together with an audible click. Connect the two ground wires. Step 8. Attach the console cover. For the next step, be careful not to pinch any wires. Press the console cover onto the back of the console assembly until all four corners snap into place. Step 9. Attach the latch crossbar. Have a second person raise the frame and hold it. Remove the two 5 16 inch by 3 4 inch screws from the latch crossbar. Line up the latch crossbar to match the holes and make sure the sticker that says this side toward belt is facing the treadmill. Attach the latch crossbar to the brackets on the frame with two 5 16 by 3 quarter inch screws that you just removed and two 5 16 inch star washers. Step 10, storage latch attachment part one. Remove the 5 16 inch nut, the two 3 8 inch thrust washers, and the 5 16 inch by one and 3 4 inch bolt from the bracket on the upright base. If one of the bushings comes out, reinsert it. Orient the storage latch as shown. Attach the lower end of the storage latch to the bracket on the upright base with the 5 16 by one and 3 4 inch bolt, the two 3 8 inch thrust washers, and the 5 16 inch nut. Raise the storage latch to a vertical position and remove the tie. 
Step 11. Storage Latch Attachment Part 2. Remove the 5 16 inch nut and the 5 16 inch by 2 and a quarter inch bolt from the bracket on the latch crossbar. Align the upper end of the storage latch with the bracket on the latch crossbar and insert the 5 16 by 2 and a quarter inch bolt through the bracket and the storage latch. This will push a spacer out of the storage latch. Discard it. If one of the bushings comes out, reinsert it. Tighten the 5 16 inch nut onto this 5 16 by 2 and a quarter inch bolt. Do not over tighten the nut. The storage latch must be able to pivot. Lower the frame. Step 12. Tighten loose screws. Firmly tighten the 3 8 inch by 2 and a quarter inch screws and the two 3 8 by 1 and a quarter inch screws in the right and left uprights. Step 13. Attach base covers. Slide the right inner base cover under the belly pan wire and onto the upright base. Make sure the belly pan wire is in the notch in the right inner base cover. Slide the right base cover downward onto the right inner base cover. Repeat this step for the left base cover, but know that there's no belly pan wire on the left side. Step 14. Final inspection. Make sure all parts are properly tightened. Carefully remove plastic on the decals. Place a mat under the treadmill to protect the floor. Keep the console out of direct sunlight to avoid any damage. Store the hex key in a secure place. One of the hex keys is used to adjust the walking belt. Thank you for purchasing this Nordic Track treadmill.